this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to create polygon optimizations using Instalot for Autodesk Maya. If you are not a Maya user, don't worry. The integration of Instalot to other tools like Autodesk 3ds Max is nearly identical to what you will see in this video. Creating high quality polygon optimization with Instalot is a trivial task with predictable results that are excellent in quality. After you've installed Instalot for Autodesk Maya, you'll have a menu option at the top. From here, we can open the window. So our first example, we're going to optimize these spheres to 50% of the original triangle count. As you can see, the original triangle count for both selected is 1520, and individually it's 760. So what we're going to do is go over to percent triangles and type in 50%, and this should cut this down to exactly 50% of the selection. So from here down to the bottom, optimize selected meshes. And Instalot is already done, so we can see that both selected meshes now equal 50% of the original triangle count, so 760. And individually, this one is 454, and this one is 306. So you may be interested in that because uh, Instalot has automatically figured out which is the best one to optimize more than the other by size. So it took the smaller one and optimized it more than the bigger one. You can also do this without that, and you can turn off global optimization. Global optimization is what was doing that for you, automatically optimizing based on size. So from here, if I turn this off, we're gonna to optimize to 50%, and I have both spheres selected, and I can come down and hit optimize selected meshes. And what you'll see is that both meshes are now exactly the same, 380, but they still total. 50% uh, of the original selection, 760. One of the other things we can do is we can enter an absolute triangle count. So let's say we want our spheres to be 500 triangles. We can type in 500 and come down and hit optimize selected meshes. And what you'll see is that our total is 1000, but individually each sphere is now 500. If we want our selection to be an absolute triangle count of 500, we can select both spheres, turn back on global optimization, come back to the top, and you can still see that we're optimizing uh, to absolute triangles 500, and hit optimize selected meshes. And we can come back up and see. Now our selection equals 500, and each sphere, uh, based on the global optimization, has been optimized appropriately. So you can see that we've gotten a very nice result from Instalot with the optimizations for global optimization and percent triangles and absolute triangles. So those are just a few of the options in our optimization tab. In this next example, we're going to show you how to create a complete LOD chain. So for a typical real-time application, an LOD chain may consist of uh, levels of detail at 100%, 50%, 25%, and finally 12.5%. So let's show you how to set that up. So we have this character, and this character is currently 35,000 triangles and consists of multiple objects. So what we can do is we can just select this character and hit percent triangles 50%. And what we'll get very quickly is a 50% version of this character. And we can do this over and over by entering the different numbers, or we can set up a batch. So let's set up a batch. So we can select this character. We can type in 100% as our LOD zero, come down to optimize selected meshes and say, save as batch profile. So I'm gonna type in LOD zero. And now we're gonna do this for 50%. And again, right click, save as batch profile for LOD one. Now 25 for LOD two. And finally 12.5 for LOD3. Now we'll be able to do this all in one single click. So we'll go over to the batch tab. Now in this batch tab, we have checkboxes for each of the uh, batches that we just set up. So LOD0, 1, 2, and 3. Now we can just go ahead and hit execute batch. And what you'll see is that Instalot very quickly sets up all of these LOD chains for you. So we have our LOD0, and we can move this over, LOD0, which is exactly the same as our first one here. And then we can come over LOD1, and we can line these up to see what Instalot has done for us and take a look at all of these side by side. 
you see that we've gotten a very good result overall, even down to the 12.5%. Now, one of the things that Instalog can do is create this LOD group for you. So we're going to go ahead and select on this, select this character at the root, and then we're going to come over and go to setup. Now under setup, we're going to say create LOD groups and go ahead and apply LOD group attribute. That way, Maya will create this group. And as we zoom uh, the camera towards and away from the character, the LODs will automatically switch. So just going to go back to the batch tab and hit execute batch. And again, very quickly, Instalot has created the entire LOD uh, set for this character. Now, what you'll notice that is different this time is that all of the meshes didn't go under the same root. This time, we have a new LOD group with Maya. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this one. What you'll see is that we have LOD 0, 1, 2, and 3. So as I move the camera back, you'll see that Maya automatically switches to the next LOD group, 2 and 3. And you see if I select it, we have a 4,000 triangle version. And we'll zoom forward to 2, 8,000, to 1, and 17, and finally to our original. So Instalot has very quickly created an entire LOD chain for us, ready to go. And one of the last things that we can do is we can save this for later. So I can say execute on a right click on execute batch and say export as Instalot command profile. And I'm just going to save this right here to the demo folder. Now what we'll be able to do is with any command line, come back, open that up, and we'll be able to batch entire folders of assets. So if you, instead of opening each asset one at a time, you could do an entire folder with this setup. So that's it. Thank you for taking a look at Instalod, and I hope you enjoyed.